Pisces, what is happening? Welcome to your energy update for today. So Pisces, I've already laid out your reading, quite an extensive one, and uh, which each placement of the card, I've also laid out a spirit animal card here for further clarification. So we're gonna get into this, we're gonna go all through it, okay? <clears throat> Pisces, a base of your reading. We had the 10 of pentacles in the reverse with what's helping or hindering you, the magician in the reverse, okay? So you feel there's some sort of lack of stability here and you're having a, a hard time using your full potential or um, you know, feeling like you don't have all the resources to manifest some long-term stability in some way, okay? When I clarify the 10 of pentacles, it was clarified by, I'm sorry, I was showing you the five of pentacles, but when I clarified the 10 of pentacles here, um, it was clarified by the Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Lovers. So there is some situation that you're not seeing as stable or you feel like you can't have stability in that is improving with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? And with the Lovers here, it could be a love situation that you feel like you just can't have stability in, but it is getting better. Something is improving. It is um, progressing in some sense, okay? When I clarified the Magician in, in the reverse, which, which with is what's helping or hindering you, we got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So because you feel like you don't have all the resources, because you feel like you can't manifest this right now, um, you're just not putting as much work or apprenticeship or as much energy, high passion into this at this time, okay? When I clarified um, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, right, with, with a theme with the animal card, we got the bear, okay, waking up from a slumber, okay, a spiritual slumber. It's almost waking up to a new level of of uh, perception, enlightenment, consciousness. When I clarified the magician in the reverse with the spirit animal deck, we have the elephant. So the elephant is very auspicious. It's uh, a very lucky animal. It's wise, okay? So what I'm feeling here, Pisces, with this energy is that you are waking up to your full potential, right? That you are able to create whatever it is that you want. It just takes deciding, okay? Feeling, uh, deciding and using your willpower to manifest. But I'm seeing here, Pisces, that you don't even realize how wise and lucky and how, you know, your energy really can just transcend any sort of obstacle here. So it really isn't that you don't have all the resources. That's just how you feel in this situation, okay? Because there is some sort of awakening going on. Now, your conscious mind, Pisces, we had the Nine of Wands in the reverse, okay? So you're exhausted. I feel here like you're fatigued. You are, um, you know, tired at this time, okay? Could be having you know, sleepless nights, just anxiety, okay? Clarified by the Six of Swords. So these sleepless nights, this anxiety is um, causing you to want to move on, you know, from something. Could be wanting you to move on from a person, not wanting to deal with the mess anymore, okay? You're wanting to leave something behind. Or just overall transition mentally from this scenario, right? Clarified by the mouse. So the mouse is, is, is um kind of a nervous type of energy, right? Very fitting with the Nine of Swords, nervous type of energy, very uh, alert and nervous and uh, giddy and jitty. Uh, if, if jitty's a word, jitty is not a word, but um, very nervous type of energy, right? Very uh, scattered in a way, very Virgo type of energy, very analytical, very like here, here, all like tending to all the details in a very nervous manner, okay? In your unconscious mind, Pisces, we have the Two of Swords and the Fish here. So the Fish could speak to, um, you know, restless type of energy, really getting swayed away with the with the waves of, of emotions at the time here. And with the Two of Swords, it normally signifies Two of Swords in the reverse, making some sort of decision. So in your unconscious mind, you want to make a decision, but I feel here like you're find you're finding it hard, Pisces, to concentrate. With the two of swords in the context with the fish here, even though the fish is your energy and this fish did come up upright, it is flowing upward. I do feel like you do feel that restless energy, right? Um, we just had that Virgo full moon, very fitting with your conscious mind here, feeling a little bit scattered and so much going on mentally, okay? And you could be just uh, feeling like you're just drifting away right now, really having a hard time staying focused, focused, okay? Because internally, you know, there is this this waking up happening, okay? In the past, Pisces, we had the two of wands. You were making decisions here, okay? Fantasizing, maybe daydreaming about moving forward. I do feel, you know, with the earthworm here, earthworm is very shy. It's reluctant to show its, its inner side, its inner gems, okay? So I feel like you were making decisions, planning, um, thinking about some things here, but you were shy and, and reluctant in a situation. 
your next move, Pisces, which is interesting enough, is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So I feel here like you're, it's, it's a little energy of, uh, of focusing on yourself, right? I feel here like it's almost as if you are focused upon your stability and, and, and yourself, right? Uh, very self-focused at this time, Pisces. Um, almost a little self-centered, okay, with yourself and your resources. And it could be, Pisces, because you feel like you've been betrayed with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, okay? You feel like there's been some sort of betrayal, okay? Or that could uh, definitely mean, uh, you know, of your thoughts, right? Like something you perceive to be a betrayal or some dead end, um, you know, that, that has just gotten really heavy mentally, right? But what's interesting is we have the strength as well in the reverse, right? So I feel here like you could be lacking um, strength at this time. This is a time to need some spiritual strength, right? So you can tame that lion within and, and all these uh, energies of self-centeredness and all this, uh, these things coming up here, Pisces, um, you know, feelings of betrayal maybe, okay? So you could feel like maybe uh, a fire sign, a Leo betrayed you because I find it very interesting that we have two lions here, okay? But I do feel here, Pisces, with this energy that you will be holding back in a sense, but it's it's out of an imbalance, right? It's out of feeling, it's out of fear, it's out of like some sort of feelings that are coming up, okay? And so you're retracting and, um, you know, not having a little bit of strength, right? Not not having the full courage here to, to conquer the, this energy, this emotion right now because it's it's coming up, right? It's coming up to be dealt with. I, I feel here that you're deciding to sit very regal, okay, on your throne here. Almost a little bit too high and mighty is what I'm getting, right? And, and not, you know, kind of just observing, kind of a little bit of an entitlement type of energy, okay? I will say... But it's, it's, it's based off, right, Pisces, of internally feeling scattered. There's so much going on. You're waking up from the spiritual slumber. You're very much capable, but you're, you're kind of holding off. And because there's these feelings coming up, you could, you know, the, the, the little downside could be that you could have some entitlement coming up, right, um, as well, on a, on a not so grand or greater scale or, or nice scale. Anyhow, moving forward. Pisces, how you see yourself, we have the Eight of Swords. So you see yourself as being mentally trapped at this time, right? In the Eight of Swords, what I was drawn to this is you see this man watching this woman. This woman at this time is, <clears throat> you know, feeling the, some things are coming up, right? Mentally, a lot of, you know, and again, we, we forget that we just passed a Virgo, Virgo full moon. This is going to be an Aries full moon. But when I clarified this Eight of Swords, feeling, you know, mentally trapped, imprisoned by your thoughts okay you know again having a feeling restless and of restless of the mind um i clarified the eight of swords with the peacock so it was interesting to me two things you know i i got from this initially the peacock could be you know uh someone or an energy that is just kind of showing out right it's 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 coming on bold it's coming on strong and it could be a little intimidating so the energies of the universe, right, that are drawing some of these things out of us in order for us to address Pisces, you could be feeling a little, uh, you know, mentally trapped, really feeling a little intimidated at this time, but by this dense, bold energy that's kind of like came out of nowhere, right? That's, um, you know, another feeling that you could be feeling at this time. Another thing is the peacock assimilates everything in such a graceful manner, right? Even even the worst scenario. So it's taking whatever's happening, whatever denseness, whatever big crisis is happening here, and that has you feeling victimized or or mentally trapped, and literally working through it, working through it. The peacock is able to assimilate any situation and get through it. Okay. When I clarified the peacock energy, I'm like, okay, what is the peacock? We got the Queen of Swords in the reverse and the Two of Cups. Okay, so this this new elephant in the room, okay, that has just appeared, okay, um, here is, is the energy of, of bitterness, of resentful, of, of jealousy, okay, of spiteful type of energy, of being overly critical. Again, more of this mind, mentally trapped energy. And it's really putting a burden on some sort of connection, 
with the two of cups in the reverse some sort of you know connection here that because you're closing off again because you're having these spiteful feelings again you're becoming very regal kind of like inside or like oh no you know so <clears throat> that could be the peacock energy that you're having to work through at this time that's mentally kind of holding you back and it's putting some burden on some connection or or just in the duality within yourself so when I further clarified, I said, okay, what other animal cards for how Pisces sees himself is the gazelle and the phoenix. So Pisces, I do feel here that um, you are at this time very alert, okay? And almost like hyper alert and keeping an eye out, right? The mind, the mouse is, is very, the mind is very active at this time. Um, almost like I, I mentioned in one of my videos, almost like reptilian. It's it's the repetitive mind when the intuition goes off and it's and it's just the logical mind is left to like fend for itself. But <clears throat> I feel here, Pisces, that you're you're a lot of you are sitting back and observing your thoughts, right? And and this is this is what it's gonna take. It's you being hyper aware, hyper vigilant, and 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 super aware of your surroundings, of how you're feeling, of the energy, right? And you're transmuting that, right? You're transmuting this old baggage, this new peacock that just showed up in the room and is so bold and it isn't going anywhere until, you know, you become aware of it and transmute it, okay? So in your surroundings, Pisces, in Pisces environment, <coughs> we have the king of pentacles, in the reverse okay so this could be someone okay in your environment that is holding back offering something stable okay if it is a person or it you know it's kind of just holding back at this time um, very self-focused here very self uh, focused and so this person <clears throat> Pisces this person here when I clarified the king of, of pentacles in the reverse i said who is this king of pentacles or this this could just be an energy in your surroundings of lack of of, of abundance or prosperity at this time right this energy of of feeling like there, there you know there isn't abundance or prosperity but if it is a person it's it's this energy that is holding back right not really offering something stable and it could be a little immature, right? It could stem from disappointment, but the Page of Cups in the reverse is emotional immaturity here, okay? This person here with the world in the reverse, you know, hasn't, is not learning some things or having a difficult time being resistant, learning some things, and they're they're hanging around, right? Like, they're they're holding on. They're, they're hanging in, in some chains, waiting to see a different perspective, but it could borderline be stagnant, right? Not learning these lessons and, you know, this emotional maturity, disappointment type of energy, right? And it just, they just flee, um, you know, prosperity and, and abundance, okay? So that you could be dealing with a, a boss type of person in your surroundings, could be an older male figure that, you know, in, in, in regards to work, okay, it's great, you know, they, they, you know, have acquired a lot, okay, could be a little greedy and wanting to share, but emotionally, they could be emotionally immature, right? When I clarify with the spirit or animal card, this is a watchful, right? It's it's someone that ha does have some spiritual gems here, right? But they're, they're very watchful. They're keeping a watchful eye at this time, Pisces. When I further clarified that, we have the king of wands in the reverse and the wheel of fortune, okay? So I do feel that you are either dealing with an earth sign or a fire sign in some sense, doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is, the king of wands is someone that's a little bit overbearing, right? I feel like they're very frustrated and eager to have some sort of, of for the wheel to turn here, have some sort of new beginning with you. I feel like they feel the disappointment, but part of their thing is working through their emotional maturity in some sense, okay? Um, but I feel here like this is someone, you know, that, that needs to mature because it's like they don't keep their promises, right? They want a new beginning here, but th what are they doing that is not helping the situation, right? Stemmed from their emotional maturity. Now, Pisces, your hopes and fears, we have the Ten of Wands and uh, the Lamb. So the Ten of Wands is responsibilities, right? It's carrying... It's carrying that responsibility. It's things getting heavy. There's some burdens, you know, and... and it's it's heavy to carry, right? But you're hoping, Pisces, to have patience. You're hoping to continue to be responsible and carry all these wands to the best of your ability. And, you know, be patient. Um, you know, the, the lamb is prophetic. 
prophetic, prophetic, prophet, prophetic. <laughs> so it, it's, it's almost a visionary, right? But it, it needs to have patience here. You know that there's some patience in the situation that's going to be required. You just hope to continue to carry all this to the best of your ability. Now, the outcome. And this is where kind of things. As an outcome, we had the Page of Wands in the reverse Pisces. So Page of Wands is an energy of not taking that new exciting spark, um, not taking that path of, of that new exciting idea that you got, right? It's, it's, it's not listening, okay? You're not taking the new, the new exciting spark of, of energy, that, that thing that you got, right? When I clarified that, we got Pisces, the Four of Wands in the reverse. So because you were someone, this is your reading, we're going to say you, because you don't take the new exciting intuitive intel, right? That new spark, that new exciting idea. Since you're deciding not to follow it, it isn't going to lead you to a celebration, right? Because you aren't even taking the path to get to that celebration. However, Pisces, you know, again, uh, Knight of Pentacles. You aren't putting ambition. I mean, this is this is slow moving action, but you're not even moving. You're not you're not taking action towards some new exciting venture idea um, path that you have been guided to. Okay, it's, it's like both people here in the situation. If you are dealing with another person, it's like there there's some resistance. Resistance. Okay. So again, I do feel like you're observing Emperor here, high and mighty, on, you know, on your throne. I feel here like you're waiting, you know, wanting to structure and organize your life. You could be a little rigid at this time because you aren't taking some new thing. And however, you do have a lot of emotion towards that new path, right? I feel like you're emotionally invested, yet you're wanting to get structure, but aren't putting the energy towards it, right? And when I clarified with the animal cards, we got the dragon... Um, and the uh, fire ant. So Pisces, you not taking this new exciting path in some way, and it could be in regards to a business venture that you've been wanting to do, but you don't feel the energy and aren't and aren't putting ambition or aren't putting you know a work into it. It could be a relationship because you aren't doing this right. There's causing some agitation, some some build up, some fiery you know agitation is building up because you are conscious enough to see yourself from an objective view. You know, you're starting to see things. You're starting to see how you're not following your, your guidance or your intel or the new exciting thing can kind of start to create some tension within, okay? Because you are emotionally invested in something and you there is a new path, there's a new idea. You know, when I further clarified... We got the two of pentacles and the knight of, of swords, okay? When I clarified, I think it was the uh, page of wands or something like that, okay? So you are trying to prioritize. I feel here like you feel like you need more time, right? Like you're trying, you have a lot of mental energy with the page of swords, a lot of curiosity, um, and, you know, a lot of mental wit at this time. Again, a lot of air energy, a lot of air energy, and you're trying to prioritize. You're almost balancing, okay? Um, could be juggling a couple of things here, but there's there's some agitation, there's some discomfort that's coming with that, all right? When I clarified Pisces, I, I'm like, all right, let's put an oracle card on it. We put love, I, I pulled out love begins in the reverse, okay? So I feel here, because you or whoever, feel free to reverse the roles, is not taking this new path uh, page of wands this new exciting path this new adventure towards something new okay i feel here that obviously something is not going to begin right like something is at a standstill the reading i did yesterday could be delays and frustrations but it's only linked to how long it takes you to act so someone is has a lot of emotion but you know something new is not going to begin until of course some change is made then we have material and spiritual prosperity, okay? I do feel that during this time, obviously, it's building spiritual strength, Pisces, all right? During this time, it is building spiritual strength. If you're not there, you know, if, 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 if you aren't at the end, the end is not the end of the journey, right? The, the destination. But either way, if you're not there yet, it's because there's more to learn, okay? There's, there's, so the waiting game popped out. There is some sort of a wait. Okay, there is some sort of a weight, but I feel here that the weight is directly linked 
to how fast you prioritize these things inside of you and deal with this frustration and you know become aware okay objectively see what is bothering you and why there will be that weight there until you assess that and are able to move forward and let this new love begin okay whether it's the love you know the new passion ignited towards new ventures new projects uh career love whatever it may be okay transformation in the reverse okay you have an active role in this okay the universe is doing its part things are moving along okay we we see it as chaos but things are transforming and changing right what you have to do is your part is maintain open so again I, I very much feel a very highlighted message here is that the waiting game is, is, is going to be different for everybody and it has a lot to do with how you perceive things and how fast you are going to let yourself be teachable, right? The card that's coming up in my mind, which this deck is not here because I have moved, is how teachable are you, okay? And so after that, we got fulfillment, of wishes okay so depending on how fast you transform is how fast you are going to get to the wishes to your manifestations that is literally just you know first you have to take the first step right page of of, of wands that new exciting step the next step okay then you can have a celebration in some sense but this is very much possible but it isn't if you don't at least take the first step so once you allow yourself to be more open and transform and, and you know, things will start to speed along and you will come along your wish to your wish fulfillment and new beginnings, right? So this transformation, your wish fulfillment is dependent on how fast you transform, okay? How open you are during this, this new awakening, right? This new thing. Um, the next cards that I got, Pisces, last cards to wrap this up. So... Two cards that came out were partnerships and alliances and uh, the third eye chakra in the reverse, okay? So again, with the waking up from a spiritual slumber, with the energy of, of some agitation coming up inside of you or another person and it being dependent on how long you take, there is a partnership and alliance to be had here. But someone here, you know, their third eye, their awakening depends how long it takes them to awaken this third eye energy is in the reverse. So someone is not seeing something yet fully for what it is. Some partnership or alliance here, okay? When I clarified um, the third eye in the reverse, we got uh, challenges and obstacles. Yeah, so this challenge and obstacle is that someone is, is not yet seeing the third eye, seeing the full path for what it is yet, okay? For what it is yet. When I clarified partnership and alliances... Right, because this is an energy of, of, of people, you know, in a way retreating from themselves. Okay, or, you know, you Pisces, you could be retreating from someone because there's a lot of mental turmoil, uh, turmoil, a lot of anxiety at this time, right? But that could be the energy that it's talking about and the obstacles and challenges, retreating because you're not seeing yet the full picture of this partnership and alliance, okay? Anyhow. Partnership and alliance clarified by rejoice and celebration. So this is a partnership or an alliance that is fated. That is something that is going to bring more fulfillment. It's a friendship. There, there, is, there is harmony in this partnership and alliance, right? Then uh, after that, after partnership and alliance and rejoice and celebration, we got power. So again, more lion type of energy, right? A lot of you really could be dealing with a Leo, but this made me think, right, that... Um, a lot of you Pisces, for instance, in, in the wheel of the father, the mother, and the son, the father power, the mother wisdom, the son love. So Pisces, wisdom, power, the father could be dealing with the Leo, will make a creation that will be love, right? This is like what's kind of happening. We're waking up. There's a, a new consciousness coming. So I feel here that it's you and yourself, Pisces, both people coming into their own individual power and then coming into power and alignment together, okay? For, it's a side message. And then once you and this person or both come out of being trapped in fear, right? Mentally, again, Pisces, the card, how you see yourself, the eight of swords, an eight. And I think I told you guys yesterday, I've been seeing eight everywhere. Trapped in fear, eight. Once you guys 
stop feeling like this or stop seeing yourself like this and get out of this energy of being trapped in fear, the last card to wrap up this reading, number one, success and triumph. There will, you will allow a new beginning to take place, Pisces. A new beginning, okay? A new beginning with new light code energy, a new beginning, you know, astrologically, um, you know, here in so many ways. And it's going to be a more fulfilling cycle for you. So Pisces, that is what I have for you guys. I hope that that was somewhat helpful and I'll see you guys later.